Hello again and welcome to this Boeing 737 video tutorials. In this uh, video, we'll be going over the takeoff roll, rotation, and initial climb in the Boeing 737. Now, a few items I'd like to highlight here before I start the demo. The uh, first one is in the FCTM, it's mentioned to apply some forward pressure in the control column during the takeoff roll. And my personal understanding of a light forward pressure is maybe a slight movement if there is any in the control column, but nothing big like this. And remember that you need to uh, release this forward ratio by 80 knots. The second thing is for the uh, pitch attitude. For the 800, if you are doing a flaps 5 degrees takeoff, then the left off will happen at 8 degrees pitch up. And as you know, the tail strike is at 11 degrees pitch up. So if the main landing is still on the runway, and you pitch up to 11 degrees, then you might have a tail strike. The initial pitch attitude is 15 degrees, but as you know, once the airplane is in there, then you need to follow the flight director. However, if the flight director goes above 20 degrees pitch up, and remember, after a liftoff, usually you will be very close to your acceleration highs, which is usually 1,000 feet, and once you set flaps up speed then the pitch attitude command by the flight director will come down and usually it's going to go to 10 degrees. For the uh, rotation rate as per the FCTM, 2 to 3 degrees per second. And it's mentioned in the FCTM that it is recommended for long airplanes like the 800 and the 900 to use the 2 degrees per second. So from the horizon to your lift off attitude should be about four seconds. And that is a slow rotation actually, if you just uh, try to visualize it. The uh, third item I'd like to talk about is the control column movement during the uh, rotation. Uh, some new pilots, when they uh, start flying the 737, especially if they have uh, never flown a jet, when they hear rotate the bit up and hold the control column in a fixed uh, place. Remember that you need to move the control column as much as you need to to control your, your rotation rate. In the description of this uh, video, you'll find a link to uh, another uh, YouTube video, an actual Boeing 737 takeoff. And uh, if you can, just pay extra attention to the control column movement during the rotation. So uh, I'll do a demo now, uh, taken off using flaps 5 and VNAP is on, so we have the uh, flaps up speed will be set automatically. So back away coming off, and then I'll advance the 40% inward. I remember to let the engine stabilize, usually they will go slightly above 40% or whatever set, and then they'll come back again. So and then Toga, anyone hitting select Toga, set takeoff thrust. And let me bring up the PFD from the other side for a better picture. So 80 knots, throttle hold. One. Rotate. Positive rate, gear up. And as you see on the landing gear retract, usually the pitch up attitude will go higher. And as I said, about 20 degrees or so, should be careful of going above uh, the 20 degrees pitch up. So here's 1000, our acceleration height, pitching down with the flight director, and retracting the flaps on schedule. I'm going to engage the autopilot now. And retract the flaps on schedule, so flaps one. 
And just notice that the pitch attitude usually will go to around 10 degrees for the acceleration. And then flaps up. And then once you reach your target speed here, the pitch attitude will go again between 10 and 15 degrees somewhere. So uh, knowing these pitch changes throughout the, uh, the initial climb will help you better control the airplane and will result in a smoother ride for the passengers as well. Uh, so uh, I hope that this video will be of some benefit to you. And should you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you for watching. I wish you a safe and happy flying.